Everything we don't know about money combined with everything we don't know about computers. That's how cryptocurrency is often described. So yeah, it can be confusing. So today, we clear up the clutter about crypto. What is it? Simply put, it's a digital asset that's exchanged over a blockchain. What that means is that we're talking about digital money, digital cash, you know, in, in essence. And it's peer to peer. There's no third party. There's no intermediary, meaning there's no bank. There's no, no brokerage firm. It's direct from consumer to consumer. That's David Derajotis, cyber expert at Burns and Wilcox here in Metro Detroit. So what can you buy with cryptocurrency? You can buy stuff like coffee and now even cars. Yes, cars. The biggest announcement recently this year was Elon Musk's Tesla. His organization, Tesla, invested in Bitcoin, and they are now allowing their customers to purchase Teslas with Bitcoin. We'll dive into how that works later, but you heard him say Bitcoin. That's the largest and most popular cryptocurrency out there. Now, keep in mind, even if you're not buying anything like that Tesla, investors in cryptocurrency watch it like they would precious metals. You could accept uh, a fraction of a Bitcoin if you were to sell coffee, for instance, and tomorrow the value of that Bitcoin could have tripled. So it's a, it's a very interesting asset in cryptocurrency to be accepting payment with. A lot of people use it as a store of value like gold and silver. They purchase it and they hold on to it because the value has been rising over time. So who's keeping track of it? There's no treasury department keeping tabs on the values and the transactions. Well, that's what the blockchain is for. Unlike a vault at a bank, you can't see it with your bare eyes in the same way. You can't touch it. It's a network that's essentially managing the money through computer algorithms. It's all digital. Each block carries an actual digital transaction in it that can't be changed or tampered with. Think of each block building off the last one, each with its own fingerprint. Every time someone buys or sells something like more cryptocurrency, the blockchain keeps count of every transaction, like your bank would. A digital ledger. Unlike change in your pocket or dollars in your wallet, you don't see or touch the coin, ever. It's all digital. And that's, that's the, the concern that you can have with having this type of currency. You have to store it properly and you have to protect it. We're not talking about physical coins, physical money. It's all, it's all online. It's digital cash, essentially, is what this is. There's all kinds of cryptocurrency out there. In fact, as a joke, two guys started a currency they called Dogecoin, named after a popular meme. Well, they're laughing all the way to the digital bank. In a short time, Dogecoin is now the fifth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Most crypto investors are holding with no intention to sell. Because this is a long-term play, there are talks of Bitcoin going as high as 200, 300, 500,000 per Bitcoin. And I've heard even numbers significantly higher than that. So the, the possibility of maybe investing $60,000 for one Bitcoin, and at some point it'd be worth a half million dollars. That's what a lot of people look to. Now, there's no guarantee that will ever happen. Interesting stuff. We mentioned at the beginning of this piece that one Bitcoin is worth more than 56,000 US dollars. And so, yeah, people are buying just a fraction of it at a time. How can you get in on the game? Coming up Friday at 10 next week, we're going to dig in and talk to a cyber expert all the way in Taiwan who runs one of the biggest blockchains in the world. How you can actually go step by step and buy cryptocurrency. That's next Friday at 10 o'clock right here on Fox 2 Plus. The strange things you can buy, including images of LeBron James shooting a three-pointer. Why that's going for so much money. And yes, people are buying it with cryptocurrency. That's next Friday at 10. Rupraj, Fox 2 News.